My name is Dorotea Ottaviani. I'm an architect and a researcher, and I work at the University of Bologna. I've been involved with texture projects since uh, November 2021, and I've been uh, working on the designing of a set of um, workshops to help and support pilots and local communities to develop their um, strategies for smart, sustainable and inclusive cultural tourism. Local communities tend to be just passively, uh, or at least most of the time, passively affected from um, tourism strategies, tourism development. Uh, we believe that if we manage to have them included in uh, uh, the process uh, of uh, ideation, development, and also implementation of cultural tourism, uh, we might end up not just listening to their needs, but hopefully also have them excited and also understood, and therefore possibly getting actively involved uh, with ideas, but also uh, in the development and implementation of such actions or strategies that are going to be uh, in place in their areas. This is going to be very important, both in terms because uh, we are going to listen to their voices and making sure they are, they are heard and also transposed into actions, but also because eventually if, if they are the ones that are going to take care and take into uh, in their own hands responsibility also about uh, those kind of processes and strategies, they are going to become also possibly the beneficiaries of such strategies. Since the beginning of Texter, we've been working on a selection of what we call action cards. So the action cards are for us basically a tool or a light instrument to inspire uh, our pilots um, about what exists out there in the world about uh, cultural tourism. We focused mainly uh, on Europe due of course to uh, consistency and characteristics about the uh, also understanding of cultural tourism somehow, but we extended trying to find best practices or good practices around the world. My favorite action cards among the 33 we created uh, is also unexpectedly to me the father and son game developed by the Naples Archaeological Museum, which is a, a, uh, an interactive game uh, about a person traveling basically in time and getting to learn more about uh, not just the museum but also na the city of Naples. Uh, Unexpectedly to me, because usually I'm not particularly interested in, uh, let's say, video games, maybe this is not the correct way to, to call it, but it seems very interesting to, to me trying to uh, get together two aspects of, let's say, entertainment, one cultural one in terms of a museum and the one of the, the game, uh, into one, just one uh, idea. So it managed to attract um, targets that maybe were not uh, touched upon by normal uh, strategies of communication of an archaeological museum. <laughs> 